You know, when you get into a, a scrap, when someone's trying to threaten you and they walk into you and then, you know, they're like, they're cussing you, you know, this and this and this, you get those nervous feelings. There's a point where you just know this is getting ready to happen. And you can either capitalize on that moment or fall to it. So there's this moment. I want you guys to think in your head, this person, they're talking shit, they're waving their finger, they're cussing you, they're cussing their mom, they're telling you they're gonna kick your ass, and they're walking right up to you. So this is not, they've actually attacked you physically, they just threaten the hell out of you, your, your, your mom, your wife, your girlfriend, your kids, I mean, they're threatening every, whoop your ass, they're, just, they're telling you right now, this is a fight. They've given you, they've given you every indication it's a fight. They're walking up, telling you, I'm going to whoop your ass. I'm going to rip your head off. I'm doing it up. So you have to then take that into perspective and say, that this individual is threatening me, threatening violence. So you could wait for the attack, which is what we've basically been practicing. Someone grabs, counter grab. Someone punches, you block. Someone does this, you evade. Or we could just be like, you know what, let's hit burst. Now, there's a simple technique that is basic self-defense 101. And everybody should know it. If I'm standing, if this is my attacker, you're gonna blade off. Why do we blade off? Show me too. You don't want to show the show me too. You don't want that middle meridian, all the seven chakra right here, right? But outside of the esoteric seven chakra and the balance lines and the meridians, down that middle line is everything physical. You don't want your opponent to have the eyes, the nose, the throat, the heart, the stomach, the growing, etc. You don't want this line facing this guy. You turn the line away. Now you can turn it for whatever, whatever thing you guys want to write in your notes. If you want to write, Soke says turn Shomitsu away because of the, the middle meridian and the, the Shomitsu, that's fine. Or turn it because the chakra should never face your opponent. That's fine. Or just turn it because you shouldn't have your eyes and your heart and your gut and your growing in front of your opponent. Whichever one you guys relate to the most, write that one down. Because it doesn't matter how you write it down to remember it. This should never be pointed to that. Okay? And you're going to turn it when you know the fight's coming. All right? So when he's walking up with a threat, I'm going to step. And at that point, where is the quickest what from this position? What is the weapon, this closest weapon to him? My foot. That's my fastest weapon. So I kick him in the growing. What's the quickest weapon I have now? My hand. <laughs> right? A simple, simple motion, just simple motion of me stepping back, establishing a good position, moving my show me to, moving the middle meridian away from the attacking line, getting into position, quick kingiri to the growing followed by Urazuki, right to the face. This can also be Taishozuki, whichever. But that upward strike, that will end, that will end things very quick. And they're not going to expect it to happen. Now, it does take timing. It takes practice. It takes understanding distance, how long your leg is compared to where the distance of the attacker is moving forward. So again, as he moves forward, go ahead. He's going to be a thrust step. Boom! Strike. You see the technique? Again, one more time, he comes in, and I step, boom, boom. And it should be that quick. Step, one, two. And just drive it in. Backhand comes up as a check. Always have a check. Don't have your backhand down by your ass. It doesn't do you any good. You see people doing this shit. It isn't one hand kung fu. We're not doing all that. Bring the damn thing up. Because you don't know what they're going to do. You have no idea. You know what I mean? Always be prepared. Always expect the worst shit's gonna happen. So when someone attacks you and they give you the threat, they're walking up, right? So the hell with you, I'm kicking your ass, yada, yada, yada. When people walk up with a threat, the same hip, the leg forward is what they attack with. You know, la, 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 right here. This is what they're doing. No one's walking like this and doing this. The foot that goes forward is generally, not always, but generally, the one that they're talking shit with. And I'm gonna whoop your ass. <laughs> Here, this is it. I'm not going to be like this and be like, hey, I'm gonna kick your ass. I'm not left foot forward like this. If Dupree walks up with his right foot, threatened with the right hand, because this is his right side, and he stepped forth the right, this is where that show me two line comes from. So if he steps with this, forget his, don't ever think, oh, it's his right foot, so I gotta step with my left. No, think, he stepped with this side, that side needs to go back. 
Because it's, it's complicated if you guys think, well, if he steps with the right, I gotta step back with the left to kick with the right. And the reason for that, let's look at this. He steps with this right, I step back with the left, and that gives me the chance to just go wham, bang, right? But if he steps with his right and I step back with my right, I don't get the same shot. I can almost hit the leg. He could do, he could do anything he can because I'm not in that, that line. It's, it's not as efficient, right? But it's difficult if you guys in your brain are saying, well, if they come in with a right-handed threat, step in with the right foot, I need to step back with my left so I can counter with the right kick coming in with the right way. That's complicated. Huh? It's going to be harder to learn. But if you program your mind to simply say, stand is in. When he steps there, step, I slide. This side moves this side. And when we do that, go ahead, step, bang, pins over, bam, like this, right? So again, do it, right, boom, boom, right? Now he'll step with this one, stand with this one, boom, boom. You see how we do that? So it's that, it's reading their body. And when you see that side threaten, this side moves with it. And that's when it's... But if you see this side threaten, this side moves with it. And you see the technique?